can I lift up a prayer for you in this month of October? The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. I pray for you. You were born for God's glory. You are a glorified being for whom God did predestinate. Them he also called, and whom he called. Them he also justified, and whom he justified. Them he also glorified. What shall we say unto these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. For one star differs from another star in glory. Your star and your glory will never be taken away by the enemy, like that of Ephraim, whose star and glory was taken away and flew like a bird. I pray for you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. I come against any evil divination, against your life and your family, and an observer of times and an enchanter or a witch or a charmer or a consulter with familiar spirit or a wizard or a necromancer for the word of God says for all those who do these things are an abomination unto the Lord you will not be a victim to the enemy for no weapon that can harm you has ever been forged the thing which has been it is that which shall be and that which has been done is that which shall be done and there is nothing new under the sun is there anything whereof it may be said see this is is new. It has been already of all time, which was before us. No matter the challenge you face in life, no matter the circumstances you face in life, it is not new to God. Therefore, count it all joy when you enter into diverse temptations, because weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body, the dying of our Lord Jesus Christ, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. I pray for you. When you pass through the waters, the Lord is with you. When you go through the rivers, the rivers shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burnt, neither shall the flame kindled upon you. They shall surely gather together, but not by me. Whosoever shall gather together against you shall fall for your sake. They shall come against you in one way, but they shall flee from you in seven ways. I pray for you. The Lord has delivered you from the snare of the foul lamb and from the noisome pestilence. He has covered you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. For a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not kind like thee. Only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high your habitation. There shall be no evil before you, neither shall any plague come nigh your dwelling. For God gives his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Keep pushing, for the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. For the word of God says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways your ways. That says the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As for the rain coming down, and the snow from heaven, and returns not theta, but waters the earth, and makes it bring forth, and bath, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I send it. You shall go out with joy, and be led forth with peace, and the mountains and the hills shall break forth before you into singing, and the trees of the field shall clap their hands. He Give it power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increased strength. The youth shall faint and be weary, 
and the young men shall utterly form, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I pray for you. You will not faint in life because we are of those who do not draw back to perdition. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. You are highly favored in the mighty name of Jesus. You will was great. You will move forward and grow until you become very great. You are blessed in the city. You are blessed in the country. May you grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you and stay blessed. This is your brother Wilfred. Have a wonderful month. God bless you.